Guys, I'm gonna be honest, I really freaking hated this event so much. It's ended now, so I can't show you my suffering, but like, oh my god, Extreme 2 was like the biggest headache of my life. Hi, welcome back to another Connor Super video. My name is Lace, and today we're gonna be talking about, well, kind of more doing like a progress check because it's been about, has it been a month? I don't know, but like, oh, actually, it's only been like a week or two, I think. But essentially, I wanted to show you guys like where I've been up to and then talk a little bit about the future because we do have a little bit of insight as to what is coming next. I'm talking about the bosses and so therefore which accessories you should farm for and just like stuff like that generally, right? And so like to kick things off, let's jump into my team. All right, party. And so what you guys are gonna very quickly realize is that yeah, I do have a really cracked team. Yeah, I've got the Melissa, I've got the Iris, I've got the Megumin, I've got the CeeLo. I do have the Chris down here. However, what you are gonna notice is that I don't have any gems left. <laughs> Look at that. I actually dumped like over a hundred rolls, I think, into the summer banner. And the only thing that I really got to show is this one over here. Ah, Anyway, if you guys are meta slaving, that is not what you should be doing. You should not be dumping like so many rolls into this freaking swimsuit banner over here. I was just personally feeling very, very itchy. I wanted to do some rolls and honestly, like I freaking spent three hours on the EX boss and I was like, I can't freaking do this. I need some more characters. Because at that point, as I was doing EX2, I had only rolled 30 times, I believe. And so yes, I did get Rin, but I am still not 100% sure if she was like really what got me the win. But yeah, anyway, Anyway, back to the team. Let's start looking at the team again. So party over here and then this guy. And so I think all of you have realized by now that this is, oh, it's not really a useless team, but this is not really what we're looking to build in the end game. In the end game, we're going to be looking for mono teams, like stuff like this, right? And I'm using Melissa because I don't think I have like a more suitable fire character, which is so freaking weird. And so, yeah, I think this is going to be like a very similar scenario to like pre-con or like a lot of the other games where you have the elements and the tier lists. Yes, your swimsuit Rin may be in B tier, but like what other fire DPS are you going to be using until like you get another cracked one? And so that's why I kind of want to say like you can't 100% just rely on those tier lists and we're just going to have to build the units that we have. So as you can see, I've built a lot of one star units over here. I have a lot of two star units. I opted to build the one star ones just because they had the better EX traits, right? However, let me reel it back in. And so this is kind of like my busted team. Honestly, I never run this team in the content that really matters. So I'm talking like the arena and then this is my fire team so far. And with this fire team, again, over three hours, I believe I was able to RNG myself into a successful EX2 run. And so as you guys can see, I invested so much into like the weapons and the accessories. I dumped so much stamina into farming them. And not only that, I've got the assassin dagger up to rank four and then the assassin staff up to rank one. But yeah, I've seen so many other people like clear this EX2 boss with way less investment. It just really goes to show like even if I have a crack team like this, it's not going to work like the entire way. And honestly, guys, I am still really, really upset that I am missing one key unit. And that key unit is a three-star character, and that is your Leah. I don't know if there's a way to see, like, characters that I don't have. Let me just have a quick look. Yeah, I don't think so. And so, like, okay, so this is Leah, guys. And Leah is definitely one of my preferred characters in this game. She's so freaking cute. However, most people trash on Leah just because she isn't, like, top tier or because she's a Lance user or whatever, right? However, there exists a three-star old character of her where she actually gives you, like, TP boost. And I'm sorry for calling it TP boost because I don't know what else to call it, but essentially it's the blue bar that gets you to the ultimate. And so yeah, I don't have the Leah, but like that Leah is just so, so freaking important. And the reason it's important is because you've got your sealers, right? I've got the green sealer here. However, I was 100% using the red sealer whilst I was doing the EX2. So, uh... so this gal over here, and so you can see her super move, her ultimate move is a massive, massive heal. And so if you could play things right, you could actually heal through a lot of the boss's damage. However, with Leah, you could boost the Celo or whoever your healer is up really, really fast so that you can get this off. And getting this off means that your characters with lower investment can survive far enough to be able to blow off their supers. And so for example, a large part of my strategy, I don't know what you guys did, but like for me personally, I was just trying to hold on long enough so that I could get my Cecily's UB, uh, sorry, her super off, this guy over here. So her super does a significant reduction to their magic defense, is magic defense down, music to my ears. However, I got this 
this guy off. And then immediately after, I would throw in my Mega Min super move. So this guy over here, which does an insane amount of damage. However, I had to rely on so much RNG, whether it be like miss RNG or like maybe hitting the wrong character, stuff like that. Because most of the time, I was a fraction off of that freaking heal that CeeLo had. So uh, this, um, this guy over here. Every single time, one turn before I was able to do that devastating combo, my CeeLo would have her highness heal at a little bit off of the like max blue bar. And so what Leo would have done is that she would have been able to give my CeeLo that extra bit of boost so that she can get the heal off exactly when I needed it. And I 100% anticipate that this trend is going to keep going. I really need that Leah. Everyone needs that Leah. And so boys and girls, that is why I dumped 100 rolls into that summer banner and I still did not get Leah. However, such is life. I did spend three hours to RNG into it and I can't say that it was worth it. It was not worth those 50 gemmies, but I am a completionist. That's what really matters to me. And so, yeah, I think, how did we get here? Why, why am I complaining about Leah so hard or the lack of? Anyway, like I was saying, like I have not used Chris. I barely use Iris. I barely use, um, I don't even use this guy at all. I don't touch darkness. I don't touch Leah. However, when there is content that is going to require green units, I'm going to have this Chris. I'm going to have this CeeLo. I'm going to have uh, this Rin. It's going to be a lot better. However, like, you know, the Iris or like the Melissa. From my experience so far, they haven't really been like exceptionally game breaking. Me personally, I feel like mono teams, the effect on mono teams is just like so freaking big. Getting that extra 1.5 times damage and like taking less damage from like the elemental weakness is so good. I personally don't think like stacking your Chris, Iris and Melissa is like doing that much. However, I might be doing things wrong. And if I am, let me know guys. Like let me know if I'm like not meta slaving hard enough. But yeah, I'm really not seeing it. Like the Melissa, the Iris and the Chris or like whoever, right? And so yeah, that's kind of what my team looks like right now as well as the uh, equipments and those subs. So these subs over here, like um, the Leah and then like, yeah, just the Leah. It's just because I didn't have enough of those freaking legendary cups to actually get her up to 60. Although I know like other good ults for this one over here, but like, yeah. And so yeah, guys, in summary, that's a look at my team, like my thoughts behind all of it. I personally think that the emphasis on like the Melissa and the Iris and the CeeLo or whoever, like I feel like it's a little bit overrated. I think over time, everybody is going to get like the majority of these permanent pool characters and most people should be fine in the long run. Like I think if you play for the long run, it'll be good. And so guys, with that being said, I do want to bring up the next bosses and so therefore what we should be farming for next. I'm pretty sure this is confirmed, but if this is wrong, please don't sue me. I'm just a poor boy. But essentially next, we've got the Flame Kraken. So he is weak to the water element and he is doing fire attacks. And so what this means is that you want to be juicing up your water team and you want to be farming for the fire earrings. However, this boss also does the bind status, which is really freaking annoying. It's essentially like a kind of like a stun thing. And so you definitely could consider getting the anti-bind earrings or necklace or whatever it is, right? And so yeah, hopefully that gives you kind of like a next target to work towards. Build your water units, generally speaking, like three DPS and two healers. On top of that, farm for your water weapons, as always DPS first before healers. And don't forget that you guys can reuse your arena weapons because they are freaking like global. So like physical and magical, that's like everybody. And then yeah, your fire earrings for the fire element attacks and then the anti-bind necklace. Cool, so that is the flame kraken in a nutshell. So I wanna jump over to this guy over here. And this guy is freaking hilarious. Just look at him. He's, wait, I don't even know how this became to be. There is like some really, really screwed up stuff happening in Konosuba, but let's let's save that for another video. I don't really want to talk about it. But essentially this shark on legs guy, his name is Running Jaws and he is weak to lightning attacks. So that means that you're going to be building your lightning team. So your Mitsurugi or whoever you got. And then on top of that, you also need to build your water earrings. So you'll notice that Running Jaws does not actually inflict any of like those status effects. And so honestly, that makes this guy a lot easier to deal with. So hopefully he's not as bad as the Kraken. However, I believe the Kraken is coming first and then the shark guy with the legs. Now, what I am interested to know is how the physical teams are going to stack up against the shark guy as well as the Kraken. Because again, there is so much freaking hype around the Melissa. There is so much hype around the Iris, the Chris. What I want to say is that if you guys manage to get your physical teams working, let me know exactly what you did. Because honestly, I have no freaking idea what I'm doing wrong with them. Like my Melissa and my Iris, they're cool. They're really good, but they're not like freaking cracked, you know? Like my Megumin is cracked. Like she just does like massive damage and then dips out, right? My on element teams are cracked, right? Like not my Iris, not my Melissa. They're good, they're very good, but they're not cracked. And so yeah, if you guys do know what the heck is going on, do let me know down in the comments below. And so that's a pretty sick segue to the end of the video. So that is the secret question. How exactly are Melissa and Iris and Chris so cracked? 
On top of that, let me know how you guys are going. Give me your progress update. Did you manage to build a fire team full level 60s with the 60 subs and like the fire weapons? How far did you get for arena? I only managed to get up to silver one. And the biggest question, well, in my opinion, I guess, because I freaking spent like three or four hours on it. Did you guys manage to clear the EX2 boss stage? Because seriously, man, like, man, screw that stage. Oh, God, it's so bad. It actually made me hate the game so much. Like, holy moly. But anyway, if you guys could drop your answer to these questions down in the comments below, I would really appreciate it because it means you've watched up until the end of the video and so thank you guys so much but otherwise please consider a like a comment a sub if you want to support the channel we have a membership thing and some affiliate things down in the description but otherwise as this shark on legs once said all good things must come to an end and so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video Bye bye